Dada Singh from 5th semester EC department. Today with us we have Sriram KR from MEC department who is placed in Hallow Dog. So let's uh, begin the journey to the placements. So uh, hi Sriram. Hi. Uh, could you please tell us more about your company? Uh, Hallow Dog is uh, a healthcare technology company. Uh, it's based in Indonesia. Uh, it has its own uh, website and app uh, which connects uh, patients with mm -hmm. hospital, labs, uh, uh, insurance and uh, other things related to medical needs. Okay, great. Uh, can you tell me why did you choose Halodoc over other companies? Halodoc uh, is a startup company. It was started in the year 2016. Uh, getting into a startup gives us enormous opportunity in learning new things and uh, to um, uh, skill ourselves or uh, the uh, or for the students who are looking to do their masters it will be helpful uh, in uh, um, getting to know the technology a little bit more okay that's great okay to help your juniors out can you please uh, tell the whole selection procedure in a little detail uh, it totally had five rounds uh, the first round was a coding round conducted on the hacker run platform. It consisted of two coding questions. Uh, they were like uh, in between uh, medium to hard. Um, and uh, completing one and uh, passing a few test cases in the other question uh, would uh, uh, get the uh, one short list. Okay, can you just uh, help them ask juniors by telling the type of question or the domain they belong to? And how many questions did you clear and got selected for the next round? Mm, the first question, I completed the first question and for the second question, uh, it had a time constraint. Uh, so it uh, took only half of the test cases and for the other half, uh, it passed the time constraint. Uh, but it was enough to get uh, short question. Okay, good. Uh, nice. Uh, so uh, the other round, the second round was? Uh, the second round was technical interview. Uh, in that round, we were asked uh, uh, to, we were given a set of questions and we were asked to program those. Uh, in order to clear the round, one has to know, one has to know the basics of data structures, algorithms, uh, math and logic uh, uh, skills also matter and also um, knowing one or, one or two coding languages. Uh, at least one, knowing one coding, line, coding language uh, would help uh, in that round. Okay, and after that uh, you had another technical round? Uh, it was a managerial round. Uh, in that round we were again asked uh, technical questions and uh, to program a few uh, programs. Uh, uh, then uh, we were asked some situation based questions like uh, if, we are, if we do a mistake in the company, how we would uh, handle it? Will we accept that we have done a mistake or will we just... Uh, it, it's actually asked how we are going to uh, take stress or uh, um, how we are how we manage our stress. Okay. Great. And after that, which one was there? Uh, after that, uh, we had a discussion round. Uh, in that discussion round, it uh, uh, that round was uh, conducted to know more about the individual. Uh, the type of questions were based on projects and internships and uh, uh, HR questions like tell me something uh, about yourself or uh, tell me about your strength or weaknesses uh, what was your role in your uh, project or uh, uh, strengths and weaknesses of your project members and uh, that's all. Okay, basically a group discussion kind of thing. Uh, and uh, after that you had an HR round? Uh, yeah, after that I had an HR round. In that round uh, it was basically HR questions. And uh, after that, how, uh, how many hours later you got the results? Um, we, uh, we waited for uh, around one and a half hours. And you got the uh, For your juniors, would you like to tell that uh, having projects on your resume is beneficial or is it important to have uh, good projects on your resume? Uh, yeah, uh, having projects will always uh, help in clearing the interviews uh, because uh, what the interviewer will be um, not all the times so we need to do a project in that uh, uh, ID field or uh, in any other field which we are being interviewed for. Uh, basically, they do the they ask the questions based on project to know how uh, we uh, how we manage in a team or to check our leadership skills. And all. Okay, great. Uh, 
Okay, great. And one more question I had in my mind since beginning was, uh, being from a mech department, uh, how did you manage uh, to crack uh, uh, Halo Rock, which is a software firm? Like, what was your preparation and what would you suggest your juniors uh, to prepare, how to prepare for Halo Rock? Uh, first, I will tell about how I prepared. Uh, basically, the uh, branch doesn't matter that much. Uh, what we have to do is, uh, uh, we have to start with, uh, means uh, uh, the college gave us Coursera courses in uh, during the lockdown period. I took some uh, uh, two or three courses in Coursera and Udemy uh, regarding uh, Python, data structures and algorithm. Uh, then as the placement started, I practiced the uh, programming on hacker and platform that helped and uh, revising few concepts uh, regarding uh, basic programming and all uh, helped me to clear. What I would uh, suggest for uh, non-circuit branch students uh, who are looking for a job in IT or anyone who wants uh, uh, a higher possibility of getting placed would be that uh, um, uh, in first or second year they can uh, take a few courses uh, online and uh, uh, the courses may be on the latest technologies like data science, machine learning, AI, cloud computing, blockchain, big data. Not like all, uh, knowing at least one technology will give an edge over others and uh, uh, that's what company looks for. Okay, great. Uh, that was some insightful knowledge uh, about the company and how to get placed in Halo Talk. Uh, so yeah, I'm so grateful uh, I was uh, given the opportunity to interview you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.